hi welcome back hello friends and professionals let's see some important tip of course like you know whoever already working they know about this one what is user license in sap ecc or s4 hana what is license actually it's not your driving license when you have a license you are allowed to roam on roads right if you have a air license you can able to uh you know ride your flight in the similar way if you have user license for sap you are authorized to run sap software on that particular system actually system or laptop whatever you call license is nothing but you are going to buy how many user licenses how many users you have depends on how many licenses you required how many user licenses required for finance how many user licenses required for sales sometimes it will be like individual licenses or else sometimes it might be like you know combined licenses so user license is nothing but your customer will buy license okay to run project on your production system what is a projection system your business system actually so that's all about user license so what is the we'll we'll take a, a little simple calculation so this should be needed for beginners actually don't worry about experienced professional about this video we'll see in a, we'll see in excel a simple example for example you take a company called devo pharma limited okay or else you take rambax or else whatever the pharma you take it assume that it is multi operated client for pharma solutions actually so he required across the world probably like you know he required 1000 licenses it is less actually some clients take even more than that okay so each license cost okay assume that i'm just uh, showing in indian currency it is somewhere like 85000 okay so now let's do the 1000 licenses he wanted and user licenses equal to 1000 into this much how much this calculate this 85 crores only for software sap clients this is simple calculation for 1000 licenses he is spending 85 crores okay sometimes not sometimes most of the times sap he is a sap itself it's a business proposal for business okay any client you take pharma any domain you take retail any domain you take so let's say the minimum annual maintenance will be like you know 22 percent is okay so 22 right let's see in this example what is the cost of it okay annual maintenance means annual one year only don't think others okay so let's keep the 22 here let's calculate this okay equal to 8 into 22 divided by 100 just for maintaining another 1.87 crore 22 percentage okay what is the total cost equal to sum okay one second let me keep this one here okay now let's do the sum how much 85 if it is okay this much these many crores will be having for one year cost this will continue as a annual maintenance first year second year third year 
don't think that sap projects are not or a small projects okay if we are not getting job for 50k or 70k it doesn't matter okay but it matters for us because we are in like that only but company for business it doesn't matter you look at this this is how building corporates you imagine it is buying 1000 licenses this much they are spending imagine their turnovers lakhs of crores only in years okay don't worry about the client don't worry about the service company or uh, product company where you work in okay do your job honestly that's what i'm telling so this is simple calculation i'm just giving okay how end user license will be taken okay that's all for today if you like my video you can subscribe my channel this is with this logo okay so currently i think uh, more videos are there okay so you can utilize an opportunity to increase my current subscribers or like this that's fine for me okay uh if you like my channel you can subscribe it i'm just trying to give more tips more tips like this okay and let's come here this is my profile in udemy like i'm an instructor i'm just giving all my courses hours and hours i'm giving at cheaper rate for example if you see this this is 81 hours it will be updated sometimes um at the end my youtube videos tips also i'm adding here this course okay you can uh, utilize this an opportunity so it is very less out of which i am getting even very very less no problem i am just transferring my knowledge at cheaper rate you see my ratings so sap hana simple logistics if you like if you are not attended use to as for hana you try this course if you have doubts if you are in poor in pricing this is one of my top course you can try this if you are not at introduced to real time getting master to write functional specification you can try this if you have doubts in stock transfer and inter company sales especially for sd people mm people they know how to do tra stock transfer for us nowadays in interviews they are asking not nowadays last 10 to 15 years they are asking that's okay so like uh, business processes and as for on a consignment sale okay this is sap sd ecc so like in a pricing advanced level i have done it's in standard again so it's rebates and this is fscm so in s4 hana the settings got moved to your where fscm financial supply chain management that is one of the module sd level you can better understand this you better go through this if a new fsc folks are there then they will come to know what exactly happening in our credit management for them required they will get an idea about it okay future i will try to add more courses this is one of my new course on shipment learning with transportation you can learn this and this is stock transfer orders in s4 hana again i did it so all these links i am providing below of this video currently i am holding 3074 students at this point of time thank you very much for utilizing an opportunity to enhance your knowledge and thank you for subscribing my channel more importantly jai hind all the best